It's your girl, Dana C, and I'm so inspired to be me. And I'm so inspired to be me. Hey, you guys, I feel really, really, really good today because um, these lessons are really doing a work on my soul. They are making me feel so confident, so strong. Just, I feel so right, you know, so whole. I'm so thankful that I decided to go on this journey because I feel so strong. I'm so confident in who I am that nothing that nobody can say can sway me or make me feel different. I find myself standing up for myself now. I'm standing up for my beliefs and I'm standing up for what I feel is right. And of course, none of those things are bad things because I have completely changed my heart. I totally look to God now for every instruction that I need. If it's not serving a positive purpose, then it is not serving me. It is not serving um, my family or what I stand for. My morals, my values, and my integrity are strong on positive thinking, positive believing, positive reinforcement, and positive action. I'm not dealing with any negativity in my life. I'm denouncing any negativity that comes my way. Now, if I may feel negative or I may have a negative moment, that's up for me to do a self-check, to check myself. That's my negativity. I don't have to be around your negativity, okay? So that's what this journey has taught me and just one thing it, it has taught me just by something that happened for me. So I'm really excited, you guys, and I hope that you're taking this as serious as I did so that you can get out of it what I got out of it because it's great. Okay, now, not to waste any more of your time, we're going on to day three, lesson three, which is well ho. Okay, because after we did day one, we self-checking ourselves, and day two, asking for forgiveness. Right now, we should be feeling really open to all the new positive and fresh ways of thinking and things that can happen in our life. So, may God himself make you holy and whole. Put together spirit, soul, and body. Okay? So, now that we have cleared all the bad things away, we have now created a favorable environment for us to be in. Now the outer shell is broken off. So that's the hardness of our heart. And now the treasures within, can nice, they now can be released, right? So now we have what we need to shine. So from the moment we accepted God into our hearts, we can begin, he can begin now the work in us. And so now we can begin the work in us ourselves. Now, I know that life past experience have left us feeling broken, those things will be worked on. You will get healing. You will get restoration, freedom, health, beauty, power, love. All those things, those good things that you need to refill you up will be provided to you, right? Okay, so being whole. Being whole doesn't mean being super churchy or preachy or whatever. I love God. So when I talk like this, this is just me. Like, I love God. I love what he's done for me and in my life because the way I change my mind, it has created so many more bountiful opportunities for me. And I just want you guys to know that. So being whole doesn't mean that you have to be extremely churchy. That simply just means that now you are sound in your mind. You're balanced in your thinking. You're restored and you're complete. You're healthy, you're happy. You know what I'm saying? You're just, you're just well. So everything is now well in your heart and in your soul and your spirit. So if you desire to be whole, that requires you to, to desire, you have to have a desire to wanna be special, to wanna be unique, to wanna be set apart, to wanna be different. That means you don't wanna fit in with the Joneses. You don't wanna run with the crowd. You're now creating your own lane and creating your own space. That's what you're now doing. And so, that means that all, all your bad habits, your dysfunctional patterns, 
and your ungodly associations, that no longer is a desire in your heart. You no longer need that. You no longer desire it. You no, no, you no longer want that. So this journey, this journey that I'm talking about, that you can be on, it simply starts with faith. And that's just a crying out to the Lord with our actions now. That means that our hearts are changed and now our actions are different. We're not drinking as much. We're not smoking as much. We're not cursing as much. We're not partying as much. We're not doing all the things that left a negative taste in our mouth, in our soul, in our body. We're not doing that anymore. We're, we're consciously and unconsciously staying away from that because we don't need that anymore, right? So that's what it is. It's showing God your faith. It's showing God through your changed behaviors that you are now ready to accept the blessings that he has in store for you. Basically, you're just showing him, I'm falling in line and I'm ready to get what it is that you have for me. The things that I want, I want those things now. So change behavior shows action and it opens the door for your blessings. You know what I'm saying? And it's just really as simple as that. So, I want you guys to say this with me, and I want you to feel it in your hearts. I am convinced of this one thing. He who has begun a good work in me will see it through to completion. And that's Philippians 1 and 6, okay? Now, I'm not trying to turn this into no churchy godly thing. I'm just giving you what I got that helped me. So, again, let's say it. I am convinced of this one thing. He, he who has begun a work in me will see it through to completion. Okay? Okay. So, it's your girl Dana C. And I'm so inspired to be me. And I'm so inspired to see you be the best version of you. I'm inspired to see you be great. I'm inspired to see you whole and healthy to where you out here helping other people be whole and healthy. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't got to be nobody but a regular person who realized that they were messed up and decided to change their life and decided to stay on the path of a changed life. So you guys be blessed. Peace and blessings to you. Like, subscribe, follow and share all that good stuff. I got more in store for you. Stay in your seats and just stay watching. Mwah. Love you guys.